Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See, so, yeah, I realize that I, I can't turn the microphone down on this. <laughs> I need to nag my, uh, my younger son was going to give me his old laptop. And I'm hoping to be able to use that uh, for recording since my laptop, my old laptop is an old one I had for business. It was not, never designed for gaming and it can't handle, it can't handle uh, recording videos. But if I can get that set up to do it, then I can use the microphone I was using and um, then I'll actually be able to, uh, um, you know, adjust the We'll actually be able to have the audio, the voice on a separate track, so I'll be able to adjust in post-production like I used to. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get on with some of the stuff. I already went downstairs. Okay. Uh, very personal request may be important enough to take up your time. Okay. First time I came here demanding money. He also took it, her wedding ring. Jeez. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> she got a little carried away there. Anyways, Staglard stole her wedding ring. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, thanks for making promises for Growler. You gonna let some jerk run off with your wedding ring? Or no. So? Yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't want to ask about... Uh, what does she know about the Stag Lord? He's not just some a average bandit. Uh, no one puts a stop to him. If no one puts a stop to him, he'll turn the stolen lands into his personal kingdom. A kingdom of fear and oppression. Lawful good. Who is lawful good in this party that I'm getting lawful good options? Uh, I think we're going to go with the lawful good response. Yuck. Yeah, well, it seemed like the most appropriate one. We'll take care of him. You've already said you'll take care of him, so, you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going. Let's talk to this guy here. Who is this? Oh, uh, the elf looks straight at you through the, tang uh, the tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking our fortune in the stolen lands? You aren't the only you aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. <laughs> Judging by the elf's voice, it's obvious that she started her day with a jug of wine. Well, somebody's had a hard time. I'm Enoriel Bright or uh, Enoriel Eight Eyes. Wow. Uh, that must be disorienting, having eight eyes. I was famous throughout Absalom. Enoriel eight eyes of the reckless six. Well, glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, and no one recognizes you on the street anymore. A few decades. Well, she is an elf, okay. So what are you doing here? I've been sitting here waiting for adventurers who are in need of help. Absolute, Absalom, I lost. I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts, but shallow pockets. <laughs> a few, a little gold would be a welcome to you. I can send them a message, and they will uh, come from a uh, Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign, and I'll arrange everything right away. Hmm. A famous Pathfinder, okay.
What's the purpose of the Pathfinder Society? It's a school of adventurers. We sh search for those who are eager to test their skills, and we educate them, give them ideas about where in Galarian might seek their f uh, uh, they might seek their fortune. Hmm. What kind of matter me members? All sorts of uh, uh, adventurers from all races, religions, and beliefs. The Grand Lodge is an Absalom. Who does the society support? You mean who does it serve? No one in particular. Pathfinders try to get involved in, uh, try not to get involved in the quarrels of others. Serve only the spirit of adventure. We'll talk more about that later. Okay. Uh, would you like to join me? Uh, no. I've already got things to do already. Uh, I've got things to do already. Why are you called Eight Eyes? Once long ago, I could spot an enemy and pin them uh, to the wall before he could even think of attacking. S some said I had eight eyes and looked all around at once. And it seems I outlived my nickname. I've been drinking so much lately. It's best I don't uh, test my skill too often. Okay, I want some more people. I have friends like that. Just decide, uh, 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 just decide who exactly you need, and I'll, and they will come on my signal. This will cost you two thousand gold pieces. I don't know how much gold I have. I'll think about it. Okay, so for two thousand gold, she will send for somebody, and I guess we get to choose. So that's cool. That's abilities, okay. Hi, Lindsay. How are you this morning? <laughs> Halfling girl with tousled hair. Her hair doesn't look too tousled to me. Tell, tell Growler about the book. Mm -hmm. The book is about you and your awesome adventures. <laughs> Uh, so what kind of character am I? It books, everything is simple. These are heroes, and those are villains. Life, of course, is completely different. But that's what makes you a complex, multifaceted character. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into that. Let's ask her about something else. Leave? Oh, God, no, I'm not going to tell her to leave. That would suck. All right, I'm not going to go into anything else with her. Just don't leave without you. I don't plan to, Lindsay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sniffly all of a sudden. All right, let's go outside. Find out what everyone's up to. Okay. Oh, there's Oleg. Oleg, can we sell some stuff? Oh, for God's sakes. Show me your wares, Oleg. Okay, so. Shared stash. Goodness sakes. Let's. Uh, we'll keep the torches. Gonna get rid of some of this armor. so much armor. God, why are we carrying all of this stuff? What's this? Scale mail. Breastplate. Armor class 6. I think I'm going to hold on to that one. Might be able to find a use for it. we got a ton of padded armor here. Sheesh. Studded leather. Come on. What's this? Cloak of Resistance? Where'd we get that from?
It's nice we can finally get rid of all this. Look at all this armor we've been lugging around. It's ridiculous. Okay, Scroll of Bane. Gold Trinket. Okay, that's just for sale. Okay, that's also just for sale. For sale. <laughs> for sale. More leather armor. A club I don't think we need. Whoa. Short swords. Let's move that up. <clears throat> we'll keep the camping supplies. We'll get rid of this club too. And we'll keep that. We'll get rid of this. All these stupid clubs. Wow, we ended up with so much stuff out of that. Okay, let's see what he will give us for this. So is he offering 222 gold for this? Is that what he's offering? We'll see if it goes up if I add a rusty hole. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we sold all of that stuff. Masterwork Light Mace. I think we'll hold on to that. Dagger we'll get rid of. Dagger we'll get rid of. Why are they disappearing when I move them over there? <laughs> That's really strange. Sense. Potion will keep. Potion will keep. Put those together. Put that there. That there. Uh, that's a little odd. I'm going to hang on to it. Edible moss, a cooking ingredient. Okay, we'll keep that. Fowl will keep. Hello, fowl. Butter will keep. Trout will keep. This will keep. That will keep. Heavy shield. Uh, I think that we can get rid of. Oops. Camping supplies and rations will keep. Potion will keep. Uh, might keep that composite longbow. Oh, can I just double click on these to move them over? Yes, I can. Now we're keeping the breastplate, just in case. Okay, so we got 400 something out of that. <clears throat> Did I sell that mace by accident? No, there's the Masterwork Light Mace right there. Masterwork Bastards. Masterwork Battle Axe. Hmm. I'm not even sure what Growler has right now, so we will... Go ahead and exit, and let's take a look and see what Growler has. Um, inventory, there we go. 
Just regular battle axe, 1 to 8, 20 times 3. One to eight, twenty times three. Doesn't look like the Master of Battle Axe is any better. I don't know what the Masterwork does, I guess. Masterwork Dwarven Battle Axe. Ooh. Okay. There we go. So, great. Growler got a new battle axe out of it. Let's see what else we got. Here's Bucken. Cool. <clears throat> Bucken frowns as he uh, us ostentatiously examines the nearest wall. <laughs> Hands in his sleeves. Without turning to you, the old man finally says in a dull voice, You want some potions? <laughs> uh, can I help you and remind me of what, what you do here? I should go. Let's see what he has. He has tons of cure light wounds, some cure moderate wounds. Honey, some mushrooms, Shield of Faith, Scroll of Cure Moderate Wounds, Potion of Inflict Light Wounds. How do you get them to drink it? Potion of Blur, Potion of Bark Skin, Alchemist Fire. I think we'll take some. Uh, no, I don't want that many of them. Can we add eight more in there? I have the money for it? Yes. Okay, so now we got plenty of potions. Let's see what else is around here. Oh, we've got a watchtower. And a rat. That was one big rat, too. The unnatural fog. I'm not going to take all that stuff. I guess we can't go back there, okay. Hey, Amiri, what are you doing? We're going to talk? <laughs> All right, spill it. I'm listening. <laughs> We're just talking. Shrugs several times, perhaps flexing your martial muscles, or maybe just filling the silence. Dunno. Depends on what we're going to talk about. If it's about monsters or swords or scars, I approve. That's good. You bet it's not simple. Check out how big it is! Uh -huh. She proudly raises a blade, and you notice that even though Amiri is extremely st strong, she still has difficulty wielding the large sword. <laughs> wow. Uh, sword belonged to a real blasted frost giant. I killed the beast and took it, uh, the, this looker for myself. Fits me perfect! <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, well, let's let's get going. Talking, talking. Well, will we uh, do some monster killing instead? Uh, very soon, I suspect. Though probably not today. Oh, okay. Well, that watchtower is used for their laundry, I guess. Where's the rest of our party? We're missing two people.
Oh, Valerie. No, there we go. That's right. The other, the other, uh, the other person was uh, up front. Tell me about Shellen and her paladins. So you're an atheist? What? I was born to a noble family, though I didn't remain long enough to... to, to, to. Father sent me to their own, but I, after I didn't realize to match the principles. All right. That's... That's enough for now. We are out of time for today. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.